Hi everyone, back again for another reaction video, and this one is for a one that I think some of you want me to watch. I don't think it's the one that a lot of people are recommending me though, this is a different version, uh, I think it's a different language, but anyway, I'm going to react to this one because I don't have access to the other, I'm talking about Vikram, okay, so there's a Vikram that came out this year, 2022, I think it's out right now in theatres um, in Australia, but I have no way of watching it at the moment, um, because it's just still in theatres, so, you know, I can't really do much. <laughs> Vikram Vedha. Now, this has got good, a good uh, rating, still. This has got 3.9 on Letterboxd, and it sounds interesting. I remember someone did recommend me this film a while ago, and it really got my myself intrigued, so I think this is still going to be a good film to watch, so I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. But I'm going to have to definitely be specific when I put it in the title, say, Vikram Veda 2017 in brackets. Because, yeah, there's a, there's like this version and there's that version. And I think there's some other version too. So, anyway. But I'm going to read the synopsis and then we'll, we'll get into it. So, a notorious gangster, Veda, surrenders himself to encounter specialist... Surrenders himself to encounter specialist Vikram whom he challenges every step of the way by narrating his life events in the form of riddles that need to be solved in order to capture him. That sounds interesting. That sounds really cool. So, yeah, it sounds like a bit of like a, a probably a few twists and turns, a few mind games of what's good and bad, you know. Um, so, yeah, that sounds really cool. That sounds right up my alley. Um, so I hope it's good. Um... I imagine it will be, because it's got a pretty high rating, so I think this will be a very enjoyable film to watch. Um, I'm not sure what the cinematography and all that's going to be like, I'm curious to see what that's like, because there is some, you know, um, Indian cinema that I've seen that is really solid with uh, cinematography in parts, like, I'd probably say my favourite still has been Tumbad, that was just so well shot, and it's such a shame, because that was like... There's not many like that film, because um, Indian cinema doesn't have many uh, horror films, just in general, by the scenes of it, or at least they're not very good, um, which is unfortunate. But anyway, um, anyway, I'm kind of going off a tangent here. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what the filmmaking's like, let's see what the, the story's like, and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, let, let's just get into it, hey? Um, let's, let's stop the talking and just do it. <laughs> What is this? Starting off with some animation. I don't think I've ever seen any Indian anime. Actually, that is so true. This is the first time I've ever seen an Indian animated type of thing. Oh no, wait a minute. Um, like Stars on Earth had a bit of like animation. But aside from that, that's it. Oh damn, you're a bit unnumbered, sir. <laughs> Oh, damn. He big. Oh, no, wait, that's just his thing. Henchman. Yo. Messed up his foot. Uh oh. Oh. I like the maze thing in the background, too. Reminds me of prisoners, actually. <laughs> I'm liking this opening shot. Cool, like one Wide shot. Yo, I like this shot. This is cool. Get the hell out of here. This is a cool shot. Yo, this is awesome. How the hell did they do this? Okay, maybe they had like a crane that went up the stairs, right? Like a, like a system. And then, I think just then it looks like almost the camera got passed off to someone on top. This is really neat though. What the hell is this? It's a really cool way to put you in the setting though, that's for sure. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think these are police. These are just shooting them straight off the bat. They didn't say police, nothing. Such a crazy con. Oh! Good save. Damn. Nice. This is an interesting contrast because literally, what, like, a few 30 seconds ago, there was this nice one, 
you know, one take, and now it's just a lot of quick cuts. It's kind of to give you a contrast, I feel, of like, you know, they're calm and re relaxed, but now they're focused. They have to be on point, so now they've got the fast cuts to show kind of their f sense of focus and the intensity has gone up. It's interesting. I like that, though. This guy's so casual, the way he's just walking along. Oh, what the hell? Spinning the gun around. <laughs> but they definitely aren't doing something legal here. If they're cops, <laughs> they're not supposed to just shoot like that. But I'm pretty sure police are supposed to say, you know, police, as soon as they open a door like that, they're not supposed to like just stroll in and bam, 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 guns blazing, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's doing some dodgy shit. Hello, boys. Mr. Santana. Oh, is this another cool shot? Hey, uh, That's kind of cool. On three, okay? Focus. One. Ah! What the fuck? Now we return fire for now. I'm going to fire for anything in the escape. I got right for now. Now I'm going to know. Man, this is some dodgy shit straight off the bat. Wow. Okay, so they're just like, all of these are in on it. Like, they're like, yep. Wow, that's interesting. I like this though. It's a very different look on um, corruption because it's almost like we're going to follow these characters. It makes me wonder if um, Vader is actually more <laughs> of a good guy than these dudes. If you want to say good, you know what I mean? But like, this is cool. I like it. <laughs> this guy. This is a good one too. There's a lot of the way this camera's kind of moving to different characters and the way it is. It's kind of giving a sense of liveliness to the scene. Um, it gives you a sense of like their connection as well, or I don't know if I'd say friendship, but it's just I guess you could say that friendship. It's just like it does give a sense of liveliness to the scene. Um, and the way the characters interact with each other, which I think is a great choice. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so it looks like these guys are much more chill. I feel like all these guys are in on the dodgy stuff. And this guy's new. So he's going to be much more, you know... Um, <laughs> He's going to be more just following the rules, and right? I guess you could say square, right? He's going to be more square than the others. Um, hence why he's got the uniform on too. But I feel like he's going to get in trouble. Like, he's going to be... Either he's going to go along with it, or he'll um, cause up some issue. Whoa. Well, that was a change in expression, jeez. Huh. At least it's a story he tells himself that he's never killed a, you know, <clears throat> an innocent. So, it's interesting he says that. I can see where, yeah, there's protocol. There's a reason why you can't just run around killing them. Um, even if they have done wrong. Um, you do have to follow a certain rule system. You can't just run around shooting. But they've, they've gotten to that point where they've, they're trying to put matters into their own hands. But they don't see... I guess the big picture of it is like what they are doing could be seen as bad, you know? So them themselves are not innocent. <laughs> so yeah, that's interesting. I like this though. This is, this is a cool kind of gray area they're kind of going into. The funniest thing too is some criminals think they're the good guys. <laughs> they, you know, some criminals say, oh, the cops are bad. A lot of people have great difficulty admit it, admitting that they're, you know, bad. I'm guessing, because this Vader guy seems pretty smart, or um, from the 
slight synopsis I read, it seems like this guy's quite cunning, so I imagine he knows that they're going to be going after him. So it's all kind of part of the plan for Vader, what he's doing. <laughs> this is cool. I imagine that's what's going to happen here. Any questions, gentlemen? Oh, I like this shot. Is that him just walking in between the right crew? He's just going to go in there and surrender. While they're all chasing after him, he's just going to say, Hey guys, kind of like, um, this kind of reminded me of Seven. How Kevin Spacey just showed up in the police department. <laughs> yeah, for real, he's just going to waltz up in there. Oh. oh, just draw their guns. Wow. I'm loving this epic build up to him. It's cool. There he is. Ha! <laughs> That's kind of a cool shot. I like this music. <laughs> Oh, they keep changing different police officers with these. That's really cool. I like this approach. I like this um, technique. That's great. It, like, no one can get to him. That's the idea. And they're, I'm liking how this is shot. That's cool. And this is interesting. I'm liking this already. This is cool. They unplug the audio, I think. Oh, he's just going to sit there quietly too? <laughs> Playing his game. Hmm. This is where that cartoon came in. Is like the evil kind of sense the evil he's done. Is that the idea? Like facing the devil. The devil ends up telling you all the things you've done wrong. Huh. There you go. That's how he got through. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. He's like, I'll be damned. <laughs> They're like scouts. Teaching them young, huh? <laughs> One slap your ears won't stop vibrating. Is that what he just said? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I wonder if one of the kids gets killed by the police. Oh, wow. Huh. Throwing it around like it's a sport. This is an interesting composition, too. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, is he gonna stab that through his hand? Ow! Oh, he's got some hammer action going. It's just like KGF. Oh, Jesus! Uh -huh. I thought this movie was going to literally be this interrogation scene and then jumping back to the past and that was the idea but nope, perhaps not. <laughs> Husband and wife, one case the opposite side of the court to accept another and department to accept another. That's a weird situation so she's defending him while he's trying to put him in jail. <laughs> Is that what's happening right now? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh he's out of there. <laughs> so she has a sense of what he does in regards to kind of extremely bending the rules. Like he's literally breaking the rules. What am I talking about? Oh, man. Oh, this is getting interesting, isn't it? Whoa. Oh. Quite the shootout that happened here. Four. Ooh. Ooh, I 
thing he did. Oh man, it must be a tough thing to do, being a police officer going to people's places and saying someone died. Particularly a police officer, but I mean, anyone in general, that would be tough. <laughs>